Tragic news. Irish singer Sinead O'Connor passes away at 56. Netta Ulabi and Anastasia Sulka's report on All Things Considered. Sinead O'Connor, the renowned Irish singer celebrated for her powerful and captivating voice, her unwavering political convictions, and the tumultuous journey she faced in her later years, has passed away at the age of 56. One of her most iconic hits, Nothing Compares to You, became one of the biggest sensations of the early 1990s. The news of her death was confirmed by her family, but the specific cause and date of her passing have not been disclosed. In a statement, her family expressed their profound sadness and requested privacy during this difficult time. During the late 1980s, alternative radio echoed with the voices of extraordinary female artists who defied conventional expectations of appearance and sound for women. Among these influential musicians like Tracy Chapman, Lori Anderson, and the Indigo Girls, Sinead O'Connor stood out. The cover of her debut album, released in 1987, was striking, featuring her beautiful bald head and her hands protectively crossed over her heart. Titled, The Lion and the Cobra, the album derived its name from a verse in Psalm chapter 91, symbolizing the strength and resilience of believers and their faith. Throughout her early life, O'Connor demonstrated remarkable resilience. In her own words during a 2014 interview with NPR, she said, I grew up in a severely abusive situation, my mother being the perpetrator. So much of child abuse is about being voiceless, and it's a wonderfully healing thing to just make sounds. Sinead O'Connor's musical journey started while she was at a home for juvenile delinquents, after facing a turbulent childhood involving expulsion from Catholic schools and repeated shoplifting incidents. However, her life took a significant turn when a nun gave her a guitar, and she began singing on the streets of Dublin before joining the popular Irish band in Tua Nua. Notably, O'Connor caught the attention of The Edge, U2's guitarist, leading to her signing with the Ensign, Chrysalis label. Her second studio album, I Do Not Want What I Haven't Got, released in 1990, achieved double platinum status, largely due to the success of the hit love song, Nothing Compares to You, written by Prince. This album epitomized O'Connor's prayerful approach to music and her fierce condemnation of social injustice. Refusing to accept its four Grammy nominations as she deemed them too commercial and contributing to the destruction of humanity, she even faced a ban from a New Jersey arena after refusing to sing, The Star Spangled Banner, for its glorification of bombs bursting in air. Renowned rock critic Bill Wyman highlights that O'Connor belonged to a proud Irish tradition of speaking out against established norms and advocating for the vulnerable and the weak. In 1992, at the peak of her fame, Sinead O'Connor appeared on Saturday Night Live. During her performance, she used her voice to denounce racism and child abuse. However, her final act of tearing up a picture of then-Pope John Paul II while singing a version of Bob Marley's, War, caused a media uproar that overshadowed her important protest against abuse within the Catholic Church. Despite her strong convictions, O'Connor's views became increasingly erratic over the years. She underwent several transformations, from being a feminist to abandoning the label, supporting the Irish Republican Army before changing her stance, and even getting ordained as a Catholic priest by a rogue sect, later converting to Islam. Her music also took unpredictable turns, shifting from New Age to opera to reggae. While she never produced another chart-topping hit, the tabloids continued to cover her life extensively, documenting her four marriages, four divorces, and four children, as well as her feuds with various celebrities over the years, ranging from Frank Sinatra to Miley Cyrus. In later years, O'Connor took to social media, particularly Facebook and Twitter, to share her struggles with mental illness and suicidal thoughts, making several attempts on her life. Sinead O'Connor's music, particularly from her first album, left a profound impact on those who came of age in the 1980s. The legacy of her powerful songs will never fade. Following her passing, Ireland's Prime Minister Leo Varadkar expressed his condolences on social media, acknowledging O'Connor's worldwide music appeal and unparalleled talent. He bid her soul rest at the right hand of God, using the Gaelic expression, A-R-Dace-Day-Go-Reba-H-Anam. Like, comment, share, and subscribe.